Look, I should be getting straight into the election campaign. You know, the incredible implosion of Labour leader Anthony Albanese. I've never seen anything like it. But before I get to it and his body language, I need to be fair. Christina Keneally. Hard though it is, particularly having had her as a colleague here on Sky, hard as it is, I do have to defend her a bit. A little bit. Keneally is one of Labor's so-called mean girls. She's in the middle here, one of the three senior Labor MPs who allegedly bullied Labor Senator Kimberly Kitching, who last month died of a suspected heart attack. Now, Keneally, who's set to be Labor's immigration minister if he wins the election, denies bullying, and so do the other women. But now she's under more fire, accused today of using the Catholic Church for votes after being photographed praying and taking communion at a Palm Sunday Mass in Cabramatta in the electorate she now hopes to win. It's miles from her old family home on far more salubrious Scotland Island. Now, I am defending Keneally a bit because I've seen no evidence that Keneally arranged to have these pictures taken or used for publicity. They've been used by her critics, not by her. Now, should that be the case? And given that, I am giving her a pass. Giving her a pass. And as a Catholic, of course, she would want to go to a church at this sacred time of the year. And yet I say this. Hypocrite. This same Christina Keneally once attacked Prime Minister Scott Morrison for worshipping at his church, saying, has he read Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 to 6? When you pray, don't be like the hypocrites. They love to stand in the synagogues and on the street corners and pray so people will see them. But there's no evidence that Morrison had asked to be photographed, just like there's no evidence with Keneally. And yet Keneally back then couldn't let it go. She also tweeted a passage from Matthew, again named at Morrison. When you pray, you should go into your room and close the door and pray to your father who cannot be seen. So why does Morrison have to pray in a closed room where no one can see him, but Keneally can pray in a big church in the electorate she wants to win, which is, by the way, a very Catholic electorate? Hypocrite. And I'll go further. There's Keneally praying in a Catholic church when she has publicly damned the Catholics, saying Catholicism has done more harm to Australia than Islam. When she said at Easter five years ago, this Easter is the Catholic Church that needs redemption. When she wrote that the church values its rules, assets and male privilege above all. And when she wrote that she laughed at hearing Tim Minchin's song abusing Catholic Cardinal George Pell, a song calling Pell scum and a coward. Pell, remember, was falsely accused of pedophilia. He's actually innocent. And Keneally said the Catholic Church had destroyed much of her faith. I have long lost faith in the institution of the Catholic Church, and I mourn the loss of my faith community. But I made a decision a few years ago that I could not, as a lay person, continue to prop up a failing and decaying institution with my voluntary labour and my money. And yet there she is, Christina Keneally, praying in the Catholic Church, smack bang in the new electorate she wants to win. Judge that for yourself.